take a look at the through night tc20 the porcupine chaser yeah hold on that'll make sense this flashlight is coming in about 4.7 inches long and 2.26 ounces. So just to give you an idea of the size, that's pretty uh, standard phone there. So that's what you're looking at as far as size. So what are you getting for something in this size? And what do I see this in my system, possibly your system? Well, let's jump into that. First off, there's your on-on switch, on-off switch right there. And I find it fairly easy to find. You know, in the, in the night, when you're just picking up a flashlight, it's easy to find this section of the light. And then what I'll have to do is just rotate it around. And then it's easily found here. Boom, I can turn on the flashlight. So I like the fact that it's easy to find relatively. And it's also got a light on it right here. Let me turn on firefly mode here. There we go. So this is just to indicate that it's on. If that's turning red, it's about time to charge it. And if you're charging it, it is a rechargeable, then that will turn red. If it's blinking purple, that means something is wrong with the light, or excuse me, wrong with the charging. It's not charging as it should. There is the charging port. USB. It's got the uh, the closure to keep water and dust out. And to turn this thing on, your first mode, Firefly mode, press and hold. We'll give you five lumens for 37 days. Press and hold again, 38 lumens for 46 days. Press and hold again. We'll give you 320 lumens for 10.2 hours. Now the interesting thing about this, which I don't like but I can live with it. I would change this if I could, is that as we're talking, we're at 320 lumens, 10.2 hours. Intuitively, you would think press and hold again would get you to the next step up, but actually what it does, it drops back down to 38 lumens for whatever reason. So we'll go back up to 320, and if you press and hold again quickly after, then it will go up to the 1800 lumens, for 145 minutes. Drop them back down, cycling through. So there is your main three, 38, 320, and 1800 lumens. And then if you double press at any point, wherever you are, when the flashlight is on, that gives you 3800 lumens for 130 minutes. So 3,800 lumens in this little package, and yes, I found it come in handy on uh, many occasions. What I will be use, well, before we go there. So double click, will get you that 3,800. Double click again, that gets you the strobe. It does have a memory function in it, so it'll turn on the last mode that you had access, except for Firefly, Turbo, and the strobe mode. So you turn it right back on, it'll go to the, so if you did have it in the uh, turbo, it just drops down to the 1800. So again, a flashlight right here that goes from the 0.5, which I really like those low modes. Even if the flashlight this big, I really like them. A lot of times I'm trying not to, um, up camping for example, and we're in our trailer, try not to disturb my family, uh, those type of things. I really enjoy that low mode all the way up to that 3800 which um, like I said comes in handy a lot of what I've used this for up camping is in our trailer the um, electrical is out so I'll turn it on the highest mode and just tail stand it like this this is how I often will use flashlights as well you can see um, I'll just bounce it off the roof so our electrical in the trailer no longer works but uh, with flashlights like this I mean you can <laughs> This one really, really lights it up in here. This is a, let's see, it's on high. If we bump it up oh. to turbo. It's brighter than these lights ever were. Yeah, I mean, it really, really brightens it up in here. So there's the uh, TC20 again on light duty. Um, that's just lighting up the whole trailer. Again, our electrical is out, so. We're using other means and it works quite well, actually. 
We've been out a couple of times with this and used it as such, and I've also used it to uh, chase off some varmints that have been messing with my truck and the trailer. See it right there. So that's where the porcupine chaser comes from that, that I mentioned in the intro. Battery on this is the through night 26650 rechargeable. So that is a big battery, but again, what you're getting out of that is a lot of juice, which I appreciate and have used. Threading on it is very nice, fits good, twists good i.e. Uh, pointing to just the, the good craftsmanship. You can see on the tail, you've got some knurling there and then on the main body portion of the flashlight. And I think it's that good medium knurling that everyone or most people will appreciate. It's there which creates the traction, but it's not so aggressive that you feel like you have sandpaper there. Place for a lanyard hole. It does come with a lanyard and since we're talking about it, these are some items that it comes with. Here's your lanyard, a couple of spare, spare O-rings, this for the uh, charging port right here, and then this piece right here is for your button on the inside. And then, because of the size of this flashlight, it comes with the uh, sheath here, the holster, whatever you want to call it. This S-beaner is not part of it, I added that on there. But uh, works pretty well. Again, you know, especially for camping, that type of deal, uh, it's nice to have on hand. Forgot another thing that it comes with actually is a charging cord, so that is supplied with the light as well. One thing I didn't mention when charging this flashlight, so when you've got it plugged in, you can actually access Firefly or the low and medium modes, but nothing else. So the 0 .5, 38, and 320 lumens are accessible turning the light on when you actually have it charging. I did find that handy because uh, when we were up there using it, I'd been using it a lot, so it drained the battery, so I was charging it, but I still needed it on. So the fact that I could charge it and use the flashlight was convenient. So where does this fit into my system? A flashlight like this, I see as a truck light, for example, leaving it in the truck. Uh, it's definitely a camping light. Whenever we go out camping, uh, whenever we go out hunting, as long as I'm not backpack hunting, for example, or backpacking, just too big and heavy for that. But camping, uh, hunting for base camp, that's what I see this uh, light as, or just a, a light to have in the truck for whenever you need it. It's become very handy, and it's one of those lights that I'm really glad that I've had to add to the, um, the repertoire of lights that I've been using. Let's take a look at the night shots. Got these up camping, so this ought to give you a good idea of distance of the hot spot of the light with a little bit of flood on the sides. Here you go. All right, this is just some night shots of the TC20. There's your low mode. It's actually picking up the reflectors on the front of the truck. That's what you see that directly in the middle of the screen there. Next up. We are 20 yards out. Next one. Quite a bit of difference there. Next one. Oh, drop back down. There we go. Really lights up that entire truck. And we're getting into the trailer. There's your high mode. Sorry guys, if I sound like I'm tired, I am. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning because I just ran off a of porcupine from doing something to the truck. <laughs> So I figured I'd get some beam shots while I was out here. You know, it's got a relatively good focus beam, good throw, but it's also got good flood as well. Got my range finder on me. The top of those trees are about 70 yards away. Oh, there's the truck trailer that's at uh, 54 yards out. 
see that hot spot in the middle there. A little bit of the flood going out on the sides. I've come to enjoy this size of flashlight, a non-EDC in my opinion. I mean, I guess you could with the, the sheath, but to me it's just too big. But the role is that, that camping, the spare light in the truck type of deal. But the size of it is really good for that because it's not taking up a lot of space, but you're getting a lot of lumens, uh, much more than most, um, if not all, of the EDC type lights that we carry, you know, the smaller ones. And in the case of chasing down that porcupine twice, uh, something like this came in very handy to really be able to flood the night with light and know exactly where he was. I mean, just that's kind of a fun example, but um, yeah, it, these things just come in very, very handy. So if you're interested, there's some links uh, down below, check them out, do your comparisons, see if this is something you'd like, you'd like to add to your flashlights, or if you're just looking for one flashlight, Take a look. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you.